Hi guys, Kelly here, and I am going to be talking about uh, the collection. It's the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 of the ADH Norvina collection. I have already reviewed palette number two. I think it's palette number two. It could be number three. I really don't want to go and get it, so there's that. Um, so here's the color story. Let me, first of all, it's purple. And so you would guess that there would be purple in there, and there is, so, you know, yay. But uh, I don't want to blind you with my the mirror, which is a really big mirror. I love how big it is. It's ginormous. Oh, and, and it will stay up. So, like, if you're, like, sitting there and you're putting your makeup on, you do, you can sit there and it will stay up. You don't have to, you know, most palettes, like, here's a palette. And, then, you know, no shame or shade to other palettes or other companies that make palettes. It's just nice to have one that you can sit down and you can see yourself and do your makeup with. But, I mean, for instance, this one, this Milani one, it, you know, because the fact that it's made out of paper and paper board and glue it doesn't stay you have to prop something up behind it and so you know I do like that feature though is it worth the price point that's really up to you you get what uh, I was gonna try to count them oh 5 10 15 20 25 you get 25 shades plus this nice big mirror and a plastic casing uh, you don't get no names, though. You have to pay extra for the names. I'm, I'm guessing. I mean, you can do... They, they have names. It's called A1 through A5. B1 through B5. I feel like I'm playing battle, uh, Battleship. You little jerk dogs. I'm having this problem. And maybe you guys can help me with it. If you know of the way to stop my dogs, then let me know in the comments down below. So, my two male... Rat Terriers, you've seen them before, Odin and Loki. They seem to like to eat Missy's cat food. Now, Missy is a 16-year-old cat. Her teeth are bad. Her eyesight's bad. You know, she's getting old. And so she has been on this kick where she will still eat her regular hard cat food, but now she also wants the gravy of the other cat food. And that's all she eats is the gravy. So I have to get the extra gravy and then I have to buy this other stuff. Anyways, the boys constantly eat it. And Loki is becoming fatter and fatter because he's eating it and I don't want him to basically be me. And he's getting that way. And I don't want him, I don't want his feet to hurt and I don't want his legs to hurt and I don't want his hips to hurt or his back to hurt because I know how that feels and I don't want my dog to go through that. So if you guys can think of a way to stop him and it has to still be able to where Missy can get to it. And that's the thing, is that Missy has to be able to get to it too. So, thank you for that side, that, that little segue there. If you can think of any way to let Missy be able to still get to her food and the boys not eat it, that would be poisic. The problem is they also know that it's wrong that they're eating it. They just don't care. Anyways, back to the makeup. I'm really s snuffed up, you guys. And I don't have covid 19. What happened to COVID 1 through 18, by the way? Did we just... Did it just not work? Anyways, that doesn't matter. Here is what matters, and that's... So, again, I do like the fact that it holds itself up, and but it can also be laid flat. It can't be pushed back. I, I don't like when I do that, when people do that to their palace. I'm like, oh, it makes me cringe. Anyways, so, um... There are some... It, the overall colors are, you know, cold. I don't want to say cold tone, but I feel like most of them are cold toned. Um, but there are some definitely warm tone shades in here. I feel like this up here kind of is the cold, and here is the warm, even though there's a cold tone right there. And there's a warm tone right here. <laughs> Anyways, but you kind of get the, the drift. There's... there's cold and, and, and warm all throughout the palette. It is a really pretty palette and there's a lot of mattes and there's a lot of um, there's a couple shimmers, a couple glitters 
So, actually, I think there's only one major, major glitter, and that is this one right here, which is D2. You can see it. My computer just shut off. There we go. You can see that better now. So you can see how glittery that is. Um, and then here's another glitter right here, and then right here. But they're, they're more shimmers than glitters. Um, B3 right down here is also a glitter you can it's so it's such a, a light color you can barely see it anyways um but most of them to be honest are mattes uh which are really nice i always feel like i can't find the mat that i'm looking for but now i put use these without a primer and i didn't use setting spray i normally use setting spray after i um do my makeup i didn't this time i ran out the door and I forgot. So, um, the one thing that I did not find in here that I would have really liked is a decent uh, transition shade that matches my sh that matches my skin tone. And white is just not going to do it. So, there really isn't one in here that's matte. And there isn't really a, like a light toned or white. The, low, the lightest tone that could be used as a brow bone highlight, in my opinion, is this one. But, I mean, there is, I think there's a three collection. Three volumes. I think there's uh, three volumes. Plus, most of these are pigments. I think they're all pigments. Yes, eyeshadow. Yes, yeah, it says eyeshadows and pressed pigments. Made in the public of which I, um, the Republic of China? That, anyways, um, I don't know how to say it, nor do I care. Anyways, um, so with that, go, going going on that knowledge, I did not use a primer and I did not use a setting spray. When I put the color first on my lid, you can actually kind of see that it's still kind of there. I still have the red. I use a red in my crease. I actually go above my crease because I have hooded eyes. So I, w I go above my crease, which is right here. And I put the red there because I was wearing red today. Duh. And um, let me open this again. So I was wearing D3, which is right here. It is actually a cool toned red. It looks kind of salmon-y on the screen right now, but it's not. It is a cool toned uh, cherry red uh, color right there and I put that in my uh, crease whatever and then I uh, used this C3 which is a high sparkle uh, it's it's a metallic with a little bit of glitter it's more metallic than glitter and then I used this one right down here and I put this on the outer corner and I used this all over the rest of the lid and then that was basically all I could really do because there wasn't, usually I go up above my brow bone and do a little bit of sparkle and shimmer up there to just to highlight that area. And I didn't want to use A1 because I feel like I had already used red and, and A1 is such a purple tone and I, that probably wouldn't have mattered much. You probably wouldn't have been able to see it once it got fluffed all over the place, but I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to make sure that I had the right tone and then I used uh, this C2 right here which is this gold uh, metallic for underlining my eyes now you can't see this but there is makeup and glitter all over my face I did use for my highlighter or for, for my brow bone I did use this highlighter right here from this Milani palette um, so, but I was able to wipe this stuff off with a tissue. It did, it, it went on really nice and it blended out fabulously. The colors blended perfectly. And, but as I went through my day and I did things and I sweated and I rolled my eyes a lot because I was irritated today. <laughs> the more that I did that, I, when I came home and I settled down and I did it, everything that I needed to get done, and I was looking at my makeup in the mirror, I could see that in here, in my crease, it got really mottled, and I could see 
that there was, I could actually see my skin underneath, and that's something that you don't want to see, even if nobody's going to see it, because, you know, my when, my when I lift my eyelids and I'm just looking, I don't, you really don't see my, the crease, so whatever I put in my crease is lost. So, that was something that I was kind of, ha that I kind of had a problem with. Um, is it worth the $6 price point? I bought it on sale for $45. So, to me, it is because I get 25 colors. Now, there is Fallout, um, a lot of Fallout, actually, um, more than I expected. There is a little kickback um, in the pan, but most eyeshadows have kickback. It's nothing that I care about. You just blow it off and you go about your day. But um, I had to use a makeup wipe to remove a lot of the gold that I put on, that I, I used to smoke out my eye, my bottom lash. And I'm sorry, I'm so snickly, and I don't know what is going on, but I'm snuffling. So, is it worth a $60 price point? I'm going to say yes. You get a giant mirror, it's plastic, it sits up on its own. I mean, the, the, the pros kind of outweigh the cons. My only con is that I don't think that they, that you'd have to use a primer and a setting spray in order for them to not... To, to not slide around your face and stuff like that so but other than that I think they're good as long as you are aware of the fact that they will move around your face if you don't even touch them so that is my review on that I hope you guys liked it and if you want me to do something else like it or if I don't even remember if I reviewed the other palette that I have of this one um, I'd have to go back through my videos, which I don't really like to do. I feel like I'm long-winded, which I am. Anyways, um, so if you guys want to see something else, let me know. Um, I will be doing the Milani palette here. And I think that's it. Oh no, I have one more thing that I'm super excited about. I haven't gotten to test it yet. I will be testing it in the next couple of days. I've already tested this. I recorded it on my video camera, but I just haven't... I can't edit it. I don't know why. My my new computer is weird. Everything's weird. I don't know how to use the, the editing software on my new computer. And I have to learn. Or I just have to get different software. So that is it for this episode. I really don't have episodes. Do I have episodes? I don't know. Anyways guys. I'll see you in my, my next video. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And remember to be strong. And be you. Bye bye guys.